Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more. Holy shit, there's a lot of rebels still. It's time for more. Uh, whatever this game is, E Rome. I'm actually getting my ass handed to me by Rhodes. Mostly the rebels, but technically Rhodes, I guess. Oh, we can put a blockade around them for now. Alright, get everybody in here. Everybody, get in here. There we go. Alright, that took way more work than it should have. Alright, archers, or horsemen, there. Land troops, land troops, archers. What the hell, we have more? Oh, we have apparently three groups of archers. Good enough. Okay. The roads will get to survive for a while, I guess. So I double checked uh, the thing, and in order to see it, we just need uh, to have positive stability to see the decision to become uh, an empire. So it won't be long. So until June 1st. Cool. Which will be right now. Yay. I want to discourage piracy, but I. Because normally I don't ever go for naval superiority and anything, but in this case, I'm just, like, handed the ability to, with ease, on a platter. I'm just like, I gotta. Gotta try, you know? Alright. Cool. 70 ships. You know, that's a decent number of ships. Attica is revolting. Well, it's a good thing we had a garrison there. Dossi is revolting. We are barely managing to keep afloat. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have actually a cripplingly large quantity of revolt risk. Part of it due to war exhaustion, but mostly due to the tyranny. Uh, like, we could get away with it without the freaking tyranny that we have. But that's a problem. I'm just debating whether or not we do this for the point of stability. I mean, pirate spawn chance is more or less irrelevant to me at this point. That's all that's left there, huh? Alright. I guess we're going to have to bring in a lot of extra dudes. You guys are going to have to deal with the rebels. I believe in you. Good. Tyrants need friends. Suddenly our uh, ruler's personal status matters, so we have to be careful. Like, we got to pretty much ignore, uh, like, our ruler. Because we were a republic before, but that is no longer the case at all. Rhodes, you belong to me. <laughs> Auto-saved. Rhodes accepted our generous peace offer. We demanded their full annexation. Mm -hmm. Some refugees even arrived from Rhodes. Excellent. So that's ours. Get these guys back to Attica now. So, I'm surprised you guys are still alive. Yeah, give tribute to Rome. That would be why. Alright. Everyone. Oop. Surprise rebellion. At this point, we need to... National Volt Risk Reduction, actually, yeah. That's a good one. In this case, because War Exhaustion will go down. Um, like, we just need to hold on for a time being, so that'll help. Okay. Sorry about that. Alright, now where are we? Right. Asia. Cool. Bithynia at Pontus. So yeah, we need to work our way towards Asia Minor here. Since we now actually have a thing there, we can put a governor. Sweet. We're still also short Crete. I would like Crete, but uh, we can work on that later. Okay. Sure. Okay. 
Where were we? Right. The barbarians in the province are too strong. No horde chance, though. No horde chance of that. Jeez. You need even more strength for them to come up. No horde chance there. We have a horde chance there. Okay. <laughs> the problem is they're the only ones strong enough for this. We should offer sacrifice. Good. But plus one stability, so now we can see the... Hey, we can actually proclaim a theocracy, but that's terrible. Omen success chance is nice, but not giving up two of my ideas for that. Because one of my the ideas I have is plus 15% anyway. I mean... And apparently I de deified there my ruler. Mm. Oh, it's probably because he had a deified ruler as a idea before. So yeah, not good here. I'm not going to do that. Um, become emperor. You have to have 50 cities or provinces, but this gets you five ideas, two military, an economic, a civic, and a religious. So it's the same as the dictatorship, but you get one extra idea on the military side of things, which is great. Like, hell, that's amazing. Eventually, might even get cataphracts or something. Militarize the society. Okay. So this is a decent setup, though. But we're how many men in the hole? Thirty-six thousand. Like I have run a soldier deficit that is far, far too big. Uh, what's our regional map mode? Okay, so yeah, we do have that as well. Uh, yeah, we're not proclaiming a theocracy. The third stratus is disloyal. That's concerning. Yeah, it's mostly as loyal units. I didn't want to risk imprisonment on him. Unfortunately, that's 26 tyranny. Woohoo! The sixth Stratus is the other disloyal one. Fifth Stratus. Uh, let's see. Yeah, loyal units. He's got too many. Gotta remember to rotate them out. Alright, with any luck, uh, you'll hit up some barbs soon. Okay. You're the tyrant, so... Yeah, you can lead that. And have as many loyal units as you want. That's the other great thing, my ruler can always lead. And I don't have to worry about him getting units. I just have to worry about him being an incompetent leader. So, let's replace him with someone who's competent. Mm. This guy's dead. Okay. Yeah, he died in the Atrian Rebellion. Uh, the Tyrant should never gain corruption, though. Uh, I have enough to withstand it, should be fine. Yeah, I had Generous, so I wasn't worried. I think I can actually take on a little corruption without, uh, actually taking on corruption. Okay. So, no Dice and Agrians. Well, go out there, then. Just Armenia. Oh, jeez. Uh, the Architect on. 100 wealth gained 10 popularity. That's fine. Good. We need one of these, eh? Alright. Population growth. Yeah, Rome's in a really weird state right now. Hopefully. And I say this uh, quite hopefully. That Rome and Egypt will go to war. That is optimum scenario for me. So what's the Roman Navy looking like? Six ships? That's not the Roman Navy. I mean, I'm still gonna be building a lot more ships, but still. Yeah. The third Stratus has no commander. I don't know why. Okay. There we go. Oh uh, well. Uh, I'm not too bigly in a hurry to colonize everything out here. If I, if I have to wait a little while, you know, whatever I do. Death by old age. 
Five, five, fives across the board. Not terrible. Apparently, we have no one competent for. Aha! Alright, so let's see where they head to. Oh. I mean, they might head up here. Heading over here, that's fine. Colonize the shit out of that now. Aha. Uh -huh. Head them off. They always head here for some reason. Not sure why. Eh. I believe uh, barbarians can um, summon up well, up to 16. Oh, they uh, ran over that. How convenient. I won't be colonizing that, though. They might be able to summon up uh, the barbarians in Mosey. Which would be really useful. It'd actually be really nice if they could do that. Yeah, everyone's getting grain. So it's okay. At least I don't have to worry about uh, having all my trade routes hooked up under threat of fucking... What's their faces? The populists. They're less jerks. Because they don't exist anymore. Cultural absorption. Yes. Culture and matey will become Greek. What was it before? I guess probably Thracian. We should offer sacrifice. I don't think we should, actually. I think we're okay. Are you arbitrary? Yeah, okay. So that's just that governor. Uh, because I think we're in decent shape. Uh, we just need to get rid of a little more of the tyranny. Which has been going down. It went down really far thanks to uh, the succession. Oh hey, good. You did get the barbarians there. Perfect. A nice little convenient bounce. Now, in other news, I really should do something over here. Because we can get that. Uh-huh. And I should probably really start reading those events. Because I realize, oh yeah, right, I'm not running a dynasty, aren't I? Shit. <laughs> it actually matters. I'll actually be playing some of these people, even. If she, I don't care. Show me the money. Alright. To fully reinforce the armies, 5,447 men. We've managed to reinforce a lot of our guys. That's good. I, I'm pleased with this. 12,000. Uh, we have an 8,000 or somewhere around here? Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. I don't know why that's 10 units. Didn't we have 8,000? I don't. may have never finished building it. Who knows? Probably didn't. Alright, you guys head out and deal with them. Yeah, tyranny and war exhaustion. Oh no. Run over them. Boom. So, Thomas is our next target. For colonization. It's more or less ready. Uh, let's see, you're, you have 11 people total. You're actually bleeding out slaves slowly. Which is going to reduce our income. We have to be careful about that. I may eventually change out emancipation to something else. Uh, like, considering that our maximum manpower is now 148,000, and we're getting 1,200 a month, like, I'm tempted to switch it out now. I think I'm going to wait till Civic 15 and switch out from Loyal Politics. Which is quite possibly the best idea in the game. It competes with the rule of law. Uh, because rule of law may seem like, wow, you don't really even have corruption problems now. It's like, no, I don't. But every uh, couple of texts, I get more corruption. And, then, and rule of law just counteracts it all. It's like, you don't have to deal with corruption anymore. It's like, sweet. There'll still be occasional corrupt people, but, you know, you can generally deal with that. Uh, I mean, we're getting such nice population growth, too. Such nice population growth. I like it. 
Religious state. Yeah, cost us three stability. It's always a problem. Okay. You guys will head in there. We actually have... Ooh, well, that was quick. Okay. They're heading down just as anticipated. So, boom. Wow. You guys are fucking it up pretty bad there. I number them two to one. We lost twice as many of them and nearly lost the frickin' battle. Well, that was my own fault with that kind of commander. Alright. Get technology going. We have we can now develop a small scale corruption, everybody. Oh man, do can we even pass the anti corruption laws anymore? No, we can't. That's a problem. We don't have the anti corruption laws affecting us. That's tempting. Reduce the rate of the slave turn to freedom just a little bit. I mean, you know, 1,226 is a lot of manpower every month. It seems tiny compared to what you get in EU3, and it truly, is, or EU4 even, it truly is. But uh, for this game, it's a massive amount. Like, manpower is a ginormous resource. That uh, is pretty tricky to deal with. Alright. Four, five... Attica, build five. I'm going for a 100 ship navy. Two, three, four, five. It'll be ready in a few years. It will take some time, but uh, we'll get it. Two, three, four, five. I need to spend all my money. I noticed I have like 310, so. That's how I know when I've run out of uh, things. I don't know the need to build ship a ruse. Oh, whoops. Miss. Whoops. One too many. For some reason I thought I need to get down to 50. Was not the case. Um, Euboia, anywhere else at all? Have wood? Nope. We actually don't have a lot of wood. Like, that is, that is one thing we are pretty short on. Suki and. Oh, yeah, because they both produce iron. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Trying to get things through, but it's always hard. What else can we colonize? Diotrez, Pipiagi. That able to colonize? Yep. Yeah. Suki can colonize. So we'll uh, relocate our army here. What do we want to... It's easier just to call as this. <laughs> Alright. Either way, though, that's going to be enough uh, for me. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We've engaged in a lot of colonization. And it's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. And lots of research. Getting done. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been your lovely host, Galvin. Signing off.